What's up guys, welcome to another tour here. I'm gonna turn this around because this is not what you came to see. All right, so we are at La Vareda. Go ahead. This is um, in the Hedro area of Montecito, which is a really cool flat neighborhood that's adjacent to the freeway and below the lower village. So this neighborhood is really popular because it's close to the beach, close to the lower village, not far from the upper village. And this one here, a little shy of an acre, a three car garage. And um, let's go see, we got a really timeless style here. You come in, you got uh, the formal living room over here. Let me make this wider for y'all. the dining room right as you walk in. That's kind of nice. It looks like a access to the garage over here. They got everything moved out, so it's all filled up in there. And then over here you've got, looks like a family room. Nice sliders. Looks like this one's staged, so you got all this stuff in the garage. And then this uh, little entertaining room here has got a nice bar. Ooh, looks like a really cool backyard in this one. Interesting little uh, soda machine there. And over here is uh, a little guest apartment. So it looks like little in-law quarters or if you have help staying with you, this could be a good spot for them or maybe just a rental or extended family, elderly mother, father. Pretty sweet. Oh, I see Brahmi out there, so let's go out there and say what's up. Wow, nice yard, huh, Brahmi? Yeah. They got a nice little... They have the, um, the pool, bathroom without the pool. Yeah, the pool's missing, but they've got the Santa Maria Star Barbecue. That's sweet. That thing's sweet. It's a great patio. Yeah. Oh, yeah, this is screaming for a pool, and this is what uh, Brahmi was talking about. We got a little storage. Oh, wow, okay, shower. Dude, this is, okay. Yeah, you know, maybe, maybe they had a nice spot. Oh, look at, look at the color on the, this is probably a, a hot tub right here. Or maybe an in-ground and they, they, they yeah, put that. Uh, yeah, okay, here we go. We got some more storage over here. Look at that old fire hydrant. That can't be real. No. Wow, this is interesting. We got another storage unit over here with plumbing, plus another storage unit here. And look at this neighborhood little watershed. All right, let's get you guys back into the house. All right. This is the little in-law quarter. And then, uh, so we're back inside here. This is the office to reorient you. Since I went outside in the middle of this interior tour, we've got that room there. This is an office plus a powder room here. Yep, yep. And then let's go check out the kitchen. Well, breakfast eating area here in this kitchen. Some nice updates. Wood paneling on the fridge. And then laundry room here, pretty basic. Another bathroom. This is that living room in the front door. And we've got another bedroom. Really nice. Let's go upstairs. All 
Hi. Bedroom. Ooh, this is the primary it looks like. Got a fireplace. Big walk-in closet. Another closet here and then another closet here with some built-ins. Ooh, nice big bathroom. Pretty timeless. Wow, really nice remodel in here. Yeah, that bathroom is a wheat. Yeah. They've done some nice things in here. And I think we might have a couple more bedrooms down here. Or one more with shitting. Hmm, they're all really nice and big. Ooh, look at this. That's <laughs> brownie. All right. Well, not bad for the first house of the day. No, I don't know. Should we start the filming? Yeah. Oh, you already started? <laughs> oh my God. I got you. Like everyone's out being busy. Yeah. I see this stuff. <laughs> okay. Do you pre-program all these? No. Oh, I but I had this there. one dialed in. I don't, I don't think you can pre-program many at a time. Mmm, lava radio. Um, I think the two things that would like blow that house out as far as being really, really awesome. Yeah. Pool in the back, obviously. Of course. And then all the carpet changed out to wood, some kind of a wood floor. Yeah. Or a lamp, nice, you know, the laminates are great these days. So yeah. That would dramatically change it, yeah. I think. Still very nice house. Yeah, really nice. And it's in really great condition. Great street. I love the um, the driveway, that circular driveway with mm -hmm. the three-car garage. That gives it a really a stately feel. Um, yeah, as soon as that backyard gets dialed in, there's plenty of room for like... Big backyard. Pool cabanas and, and uh, detached auxiliary building units. You know, you can do all kinds of crazy stuff there. We're, we, we were in Hedgerow and we just came up San Ysidro and uh, now we are still below East Valley, um, but this is another little upper extension of sort of hedgerow. I, I guess I'd still kind of consider this hedgerow. What do you think? I'm going to defer to you. Well, look at this hedge and the I row. Mean, I mean, we're definitely hedgerow still. It's a row. Boom. Hedges on both Thanks sides. Thanks for confirmation, landscape. <laughs> uh, All right, here it is. Right here. Oh, never mind. What? I was gonna try to drive all the way in. Please park in the cul-de-sac. It says oh, right there on the you. sign. Thank you, so. thank you, thank you, thank you. Then I will not. All right. What do we got here? Yeah, we need to do the specs. Let's see. Um, Malaga Drive, three fifteen Malaga Drive, four bedrooms, three baths, single level, hedgerow. There's confirmation right there. Hedgerow yeah. home with privacy, mountain views, and a pool on nearly a full acre. All right, here's the street view of this one. What's really cool is that you are at the end of a cul-de-sac, so no traffic, and Hedgerow being next to the freeway, you can often hear the freeway in this neighborhood, but being that we're up at the furthest part, you cannot hear. I like the stonework. Stone's really nice. Wow. I like the peek throughs. Yeah, the peek throughs are pretty sweet. Okay. Oh. Look at that. So pretty. All right, here it is. We've got, uh, you walk into a living room, it's got big vaulted ceilings. We've got this, uh, what I think would be the dining room, but it's set up as a pool table room. So that's screaming bachelor pad. And then you've got this big yard space that's really not tapped into, it's just kind of covered in gravel. Go back inside. Ooh, I'll take you out there in a minute. There's 
laundry room. Kitchen. Here's the dining room. Some really sweet light fixtures there. And then you got an office with a nice vaulted ceiling. And then over here is a bathroom with nice marble tile. It's cool detail and accents there. This room here again has the vault in the ceiling. Some of the yard work. It's more of this gravel. And then we've got the garage there. And that looks like the neighbors. So you do have kind of a shared driveway. The AC system. Let's see what else we got over here. Look for that primary. Looks like got a little closet. Looks like it could be the primary. And there's the front door out there. Cool little fountain view. Look at that fountain they put out there. It's kind of fun. And then this bathroom here has a uh, big stand-up shower, big bathtub, a couple sink stations, a little water closet. All the rooms here are kind of divided at the pitch of the room, so you got this. Uh, Asymmetrical vault, kind of fun. The carpet's pretty tattered in this house, so all the bedrooms need new carpet. The tile works cool; it's fun. You got this detail on the floor, and then the uh, herringbone detail there. It's kind of fun. And then this room here. It's another bedroom. No, maybe just like a den. I don't see a closet in this one. Interesting place. Uh, oh, welcome to my world. That is just a beautiful scene in front of us, minus those trash cans. <laughs> but look at that. Welcome to Montecito, everyone. The difference between that last one, being that we, what we did the math is about 400,000 in price. Yeah. <clears throat> I think, you know, if you could take 400,000 and put in a really cool pool and take out the carpets and put in new floors at that other house, I would much rather have that one. Yeah. What do you think? Yeah, 100%. Like if you, if these both sell for full price and you put 400 into that other one, it's gonna be a phenomenal house. I love this location up here though. Yeah. This is nice up here. This is. But you don't have that, uh, you're almost walkable over there. Like you could walk down to the beach for sunset. Yeah, you know? true. This you could, but it's definitely a bit more of a. It's a bit more of a hike. Yeah, but here's some specs on this. It's twenty-five point five million dollars. All right. It is five bedroom, eight and a half bath, Spanish style Montecito estate with breathtaking ocean views with updated floor plan and finishes. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. Really? That's, uh, are people hiking? Is that what the that's, cars are right there? Yeah, that's yeah. McManamy Trail right there and also goes to Hot Springs right next to you. That's McMinimi? Yeah. Does it, can you connect it up higher too? Because there's I mean, another it's place hot, to begin. It's Hot Springs, but yeah. it is, Hot Springs is also McMinimi. They're both on the, huh. they both come from the same trailhead. I thought McMinimi, you begin over at the top of Park Lane. You can, but this is- That comes up the other side. Oh, they connect. Oh, freaking A. So I don't know, I mean, maybe I'm saying it wrong, but the trail that we always take to go to McMinimi is that one. Okay. But you also, as once you get up there, there is a trail that comes over the sort of saddle coming from the other side, which is probably what you're talking about. Yeah. This is already a very cool property. Look at that. That's pretty much classic Montecito. There's someone just, behind you, FYI. Let me do that and just be like, yo, okay. Rami, you look good in front of this house, my man. All right, here it is. 1260 East Mountain up at the top of Hot Springs. This is what the uh, front yard looks like. Look at this old hitching post. Couple of them. Two of them. Yeah, no need to park your Tesla, just tie your horse off. 
All right, let's go see what this one's looking like. Love the courtyard entry area here. Oh, I like it a lot. This is cool. Look at that. See you right out the gate. Oh, yeah. There you go. Right at the base of the mountains here. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. All right, let's go. This is going to be a treat. I already know just like these arches. Look how they carry the arch through the front door and then inside that huge barrel entry into the main living area. So cool, but let me just finish giving this front entry porch covered patio do justice. Okay, so as you walk in, you got this really cool, okay, it's like satio tile. And then you've got this honed wood. Go ahead. Oh, wow. Bitchin. That front door. The shell detail up there. And they got the same hand honed finish here as they do on the beams, that real old world style. And look at this, another cool detail. They transitioned this little landing area from the tile, bordered in wood, and then it continues out to be wood out here, so that's really cool. And then you got recessed speakers up in those ceilings, super high. You got a really nice dining area, open to this living area. this way so there's the door I came in it's like a little closet in one of the bedrooms this one's got this cool Kiva style fireplace and then nice bathroom walk-in glass enclosed shower more of those hand hewn beams on the ceiling in here. There's another bedroom here with a closet. This one again has one of those fireplaces. French doors out to that front area, that front courtyard, and then look at this bathroom. Another beautiful enclosed shower. High ceilings in here as well. Look at these beams and that cool ceiling fan. Looks like an old airplane propeller. All right. The conclusion of this bedroom wing. You got another one over here. Another Cuba fireplace in the corner. And then this ensuite, similar to the others, just a little different. Color palette, a little more masculine in this one. Cool light fixture. All right, so this looks like the guest room wing off to the left of the entry. Here you get three suites. One, two, three, hall. Oh. And then I imagine this front one is going to be where we get the primary. side. It's gotten twice as big as all the other rooms. We have the arched entry into the closet. And then this bathroom is bigger than the other bedrooms. Wow. Massive. Got your water closet there. And then there's a shower. Shower, so it's all glass and closed. Then you have a little makeup station right there. Get dolled up for the day. Look at this closet. Wow. Another closet over here. Wake up in the morning, come out on your patio, have a coffee. 
check the channel. I don't know if you can see it out there. I'm gonna change the angle. Boom, and then get a little bit more. There's haze today in the channel, but that's ocean out there. You would see islands. So you get some perspective of what you're looking at out there, although you can't really see it today. Let's go back inside. Great room, family room. Uh, opens up to the kitchen here. Hey, fellow Hello. YouTuber. How are you? Good, how are you? <laughs> nice to see you. You're gonna be in my video. She's hey. got a great YouTube channel too. <laughs> All right, there's a uh, really sweet little um, extra dining room here. This one's more intimate compared to the other one. This one's got um, this amazing cooking station here with this huge backsplash. Office. There's an upstairs on this one too. There's a pool, there's a pool house. We are not done with this tour yet. One thing in this entry that I saw that I didn't show you earlier because we went straight ahead was this. Check this out, everybody. Boom, look at this wallpaper. Okay, so you enter this powder room and you got like an entry room into the powder room and then the actual powder room. And look at this old wood, solid wood countertop with a carved marble sink. Wow, so cool. All right, let's go find that upstairs. Ooh, and the downstairs, let's do that first. This might be garages and stuff. No, this is play area. Theater, arcade, gym. Hey, look at what I found. Found a secret. Oh boy. Something secret. Oh, what? That's the mothership of the, the house. Mothership yeah, of the that's house. that's the brains of the house. Smart home. the gym. Whoa, now this is the gym. I thought that other white room we walked into was the gym, just wasn't set up. No, no, no. That was just probably Dude, the yoga room. Bro. Yeah. Okay. There's a lot to see in this one. Let's continue down this hallway. Boom. Oh, the theater. I'll go ahead and get your candy. Get your ticket. Come into the theater here. Are you kidding me? Look at this. I don't know if you want front row, middle row, or back row. Let me know in the comments. And what do we got here? This is like, oh, the wine grotto. Look at that. Well, here's the, uh, Backyard. You can go by this water feature here. This water fountain. Sends the water down the lazy river. And the pool. Pool cabana is open air. You got a nice little bar area. Let's go back to wide angle. Cool little cooking area here. It's a chill area. Where's the pizza oven? You know what I'm saying? I like to make some pizzas. Nice little lounge swing. We've got a uh, little bathroom here. Easy access off the pool.
And there it is, everybody. 1260 East Mountain, 25 million, 500,000. Wow. There's gotta be a few extra little places that I didn't see. In fact, this yard's calling me in just to show you there's a lot more to this home. If this one's intriguing you, I'll put my number down below. Shoot me a text, give me a call. Let's talk about it. Set up an appointment, we'll come see Ryan. Let's see if this is gonna be your next pad. I found the pizza oven. I knew it had to exist. No estate would be complete without the pizza oven. Pizza oven with a mountain. Okay, everybody. Okay, everyone. Joe and I agree that is the best walkthrough property we've ever seen. Ever seen. I mean, not really my well, style to have that much square footage, but it's done so well. Like, I would never choose that if I was like okay, let me infinitely rich. I wouldn't pick that, okay. but you I have, really appreciate it. All right, it. so if you had that was well within your means. Mm -hmm. would you buy wouldn't it. buy it. No. Where would what Not would you chance. buy? You would want to be I'd, on the beach or Yeah, I'd get a little condo on the beach or something. Something low maintenance. You know, I just want to I just want to live my life and not have anything to maintain. Dude, at that price point. Right on the you beach. You have though. people maintain it for you. I know. I don't even want to pay them to maintain it. <laughs> <laughs> no, I just want to be on a on a condo right at Hammond's. Right in front row. So I don't know. If you are in the price range to be able to buy this place, mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure you also are in the price range to have your condo at Hammond's. Oh, have them both? Oh, yeah. Dude, this house is... Okay. What do you want me to say? Yes, I will no, buy it. You no, you don't. No, I'm going to buy it. Because I already bought it. Okay. <laughs> I already bought it. <laughs> well, I already I'm going to offer them 30. So you can come and visit me. Okay. Perfect. That's even better. It you is get better. get a yacht and um, what else? Look at this. Uh, a country club membership. And then you'd be the perfect friend. <laughs> then, <laughs> then you would be the perfect friend. Only then, Brahmi. <laughs> That's great. Once you get that yacht oh. and the country club membership. That was a really cool spot. It was. I'm surprised they didn't do the driveway. They did everything else, but it's all right. All right, let's go to Buena Vista. My man. Where are we Let us know what we are heading into because this one is no joke at 14 something maybe 15 million buena vista five bedrooms seven oh, bathrooms seven great ocean view mm -hmm. spacious entertainment terrace with pool mm -hmm. beautiful interiors lush landscaping mm -hmm. now, this, this is, is a good segue this is the one thing that is more golden quadrangle heart of Montecito we're gonna be heading south which is a little deep it's kind of in the hills above Summerland so oh, for wow. some that's a little deep uh, to live way down there the upper village of Montecito if you don't know this is it we're right here this is a cool gas station this is one of the few that they still will run out and do full service if you go to that far lane check your tires fill you up this is a cool little spot for breakfast, the San Ysidro Pharmacy. You wouldn't think it by the name, but it is. A little local knowledge. I think also at that last house, it was just so well done. Mm -hmm. Like it was mm -hmm. super clean, really tasteful. Uh -huh. Stuck with everything the... was finished pretty much. Yeah. There was... They kept a lot of that original charm. I think like that, the romance of all the architecture and then right. kind of 1920s Spanish vibe on the inside was still pretty rich but yeah just so well done and, and I was asking Brian the listing agent like did it take you an hour to set this one up he's like no you hit two buttons and everything turns on the way it is right now wow so that really? little computer hub is just all yeah. smart home programmed skirt skirt get in front of this line of cars yeah. All right. What are we just Buena Vista? We made it. They've been shooting the flowers out, but actually had them bloom this week, which was pretty cool. What? What's the secret? Because I've struggled to grow plumeria and have them bloom. Um, the secret is a lot of sun and heat. Really well. Direct sun. Oh yeah. Okay. Absolutely. More sun, the better. Oh okay. And more heat. 
you know. Okay. Um, and then good uh, soil drainage. Uh huh. And you really don't. They don't want to sit in water, so you don't ever want to have a, a pant like a little uh -huh. catch under them. You want them to drain through. Mm -hmm. um, you want to water them and really saturate them, and then let them dry out, okay. and then do it again. And lastly, during you know as you're coming into the flowering season, you want to feed them a good amount of phosphorus bloom some kind of a blooming fertilizer which is going to be in high in phosphorus okay and you will have success i liked it that was straightforward i can understand that it all makes really good sense and i've always admired your plumeria oh, oh this is tricky cool let's check this out everybody <laughs> all right here we go I like the approach. Mm. This is much nicer than going down that little narrow road we just backed out of. Yes. Okay. Gates open. You got a fork in the road. Guess parking over there. Over here. Over there. Doesn't look like that many people here. No. Look at this. It's like a lodge. Getting some vibes. <laughs> Perfect. Oh, bada boom. Oh, wow. That's kind of cheatery vibe almost, but it does. I was thinking the same thing. All right. I like that cool little water feature that greets you when you come home to this circular driveway. And this house has got that slate roof, the beams giving off that. Uh, English tutor vibe, but in a really nice way. I like it. No offense to all you tutor lovers, not my favorite, but I could get behind it right here. All right. Let's go over here to the right as we enter. See what's over here. Okay, we found the powder room. That's good. Room. Not too exciting so far, but now we're getting excited. I got our living room to the infinity edge pool. Let's just take this in for a second because you've got this griddle top, wolf, six burner, double stove, this cool ceiling detail, drop ceiling that then reveals itself to those exposed beams. That's a really cool solution for that architecture. See that? Little drop ceiling, and then these really nice metal glass French doors out to that pool. We'll see that after we're done with that. Study, office, and then uh, continuing down this path leads us to what I'm guessing is a guest bedroom. You look at the height of that ceiling. So cool. This one's en suite, of course. And then continuing through this. We've got ourselves another bedroom, which could be the primary. Yeah, this is really nice. Look at the shower. Cool. Nice tub. And the water closet. Boom. Sinks, nice big closet. All 
time. Let's go see these bedrooms. Cool little roundabout staircase lands up here where you get a sweet room that has big ocean views. Cool little city napping area. Feel the AC feels really good. Closet, little bathroom. Glass enclosed shower. Here is another bathroom, closet, and this is interesting. This kid is stoked traffic light but really cool bedroom so here's a cool detail here that drop ceiling we were looking at earlier they brought it over and mimicked it in here to give some continuity yeah a little design detail let's go check out the outside Look at that, automatic cover, closing the pool. Infinity edge. 60 foot pool, that's lap worthy. Yeah, that's a big pool. Wow. Okay. Yeah, look at that. And then these gardens come down here some really tranquil spots you know you got the back side of the pool producing a little water feature got a little bit of fruit over there jacaranda tree we're gonna skirt under so I could take you over to this footbridge which is on the property here you can watch the creek go by when it's flowing you can see how much it's dried up this was flowing earlier this year on the other side is this amazing rock garden underneath the oak trees. One thing I didn't show you was the garage. So that driveway, if you circled back around, you got guest parking up there and then you've got this three car garage down here. Look at that, all the solar systems. This house is fully loaded with solar panels, so it takes care of all its energy needs. Cool. Yeah. Cool property. Yeah, so all you watching in Texas or anywhere else super hot, I'm sweating and it's 77 outside. <laughs> it's humid. It's humid. Yeah, we understand yeah. you have zero sympathy for us and it's well deserved. Yeah. All right, well, that place was definitely 11 million less, I think, than the yes, other one. 100%. You know, they're kind of in different calibers. Yes, definitely. Clearly. And it makes it makes sense. Yeah. It was it was beautiful home though. Yeah. And trying to evaluate those, you know, trying to gauge what the difference of value is once you start getting into some of these properties. Mm -hmm. It's that's pretty tricky. You know, because a lot of it becomes like emotional value. Like, what kind of emotion does this property trigger in somebody who's qualified to buy it? And if it's a big, solid, positive emotion, and they've got the money, you know, that's that's where the value becomes tricky. You don't know if that's where you could get an extra 10, 15, 20 percent in value um, if you got that right combination. The wow factor mm -hmm. for the right person. The pool, what the infinity pool was really cool yeah that was really nice that was cool well a great tour and we will be hitting some more possibly this week we got santa barbara montecito or hope uh, ranch you mean yeah santa barbara hope ranch and uh possibly galita one we haven't done yet if you want to see galita let us know uh, but uh this one's been great i've really enjoyed getting you guys in on all these properties and if you want more details about them you know how to reach out to me us i'll put my contact, Brahmi's contact in the description below. You could also use the link if you want to sign up for regular listing alerts directly into the Santa Barbara MLS. We'll get you set up on that. We also have a great monthly newsletter. You could sign up in the link below and just stay in touch with 
with Santa Barbara. Don't forget to share and subscribe on this video here so you can stay up to date. I'm doing a lot of these drive-through property walkthrough tours that gives you a real great experience of what it's like to live in these communities, live in Santa Barbara, live in Montecito, what it's like to drive around in them. And, uh, and then also, what are these homes like that you're seeing on the market? I'll give you my opinion, I'll walk you through them, and uh, if it resonates with you, if you feel like you wanna see if this is a good fit for us to work together, that's why I'm making these videos, for you guys to reach out if it feels right, to connect and let me help you and bring value to your search for a new home in Montecito or Santa Barbara or wherever it is, you're looking to buy something. We're making this content to help you bring value to your search, to help you understand, and also to make that relationship so that uh, it engages with you enough to reach out. So I love getting texts or calls from you guys. So definitely hit me up if you wanna talk about what we're seeing here or if you have any, uh, any questions about relocating or moving to Santa Barbara, we're here to help. Skirt, skirt. And if you need any financing help or have questions on a loan that you're trying to work on, don't hesitate, I'm always available. Yeah, all kinds of questions about the mortgage market right now. I'm sure you have, so definitely hit up Brahmi. It's a dynamic situation, but he's on top of it and doing great things for his clients. So definitely reach out. Come down like middle or something. Right? Yeah. Is that bueno? That's bueno. Peace out. Bye, everybody. See you.